Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I'm going to do an in-depth walk around on the car uh, and show you a couple of things I did to it. Uh, it is basically stock. I don't have, I mean, I did add some stuff on it after I got it, but let me talk about it a little bit. It is the triple black. It's a 21. I don't think any of them look any different besides maybe the 2024s, but this is a 2021 Z51 uh, triple black version and black outside black interior and then the black rims but i did do some things to it so on the sides the first thing you probably notice it's a little bit different is the um this is maxon design by paragon um it comes with the side skirts and it comes with the rear diffuser and if you come around here it comes with the front splitter this is really cool. I do like the Maxon design that they put on the little accents that they put on it. This right here is actually, this makes it, I would probably say two to three inches lower. Um, I've already kind of chipped it right here, uh, getting in and out of the driveway. Uh, it has these fins. Let me get on this side. It's hard to see, but it does have the fins that go on. These go on really easy too. It didn't take me no time. So, and they came with it, but I've taken them off and put them back on. And it's pretty easy to do it, but they have the fins that go. Kind of gives you a little bit of contrast. It does come with the um, silver or the alloy bolts or, or um, Allen screws. Um, at first, I was, wasn't a big fan of it, but now I am. I don't, it doesn't really bother me. And then you come around the back, and then you can see what it does. It doesn't go really far down. It's just a little addition on the back and then it has that max in design right there so comes back around here so this is the this is the rear diffuser this stuff right here and then it comes in here but pretty solid uh, the only thing i don't like about it is you have to 3m tape that see how that's yeah i mean it doesn't move when you're driving but come around here and then you have that so another thing i did on this car was it was a z51 package so it had the z51 spoiler and i still have that i love the high wing spoiler and i changed it out so that was a process i didn't have a video on that but that, that did take a while probably four or five hours to do that the whole back bumper comes off once you do it once i could see it being easier but and i bought this for around 300 bucks and it is the carbon flash because all my other pieces like here Let's see if I can get it to zoom in here and you can see it's carbon flash right there see that so and I painted these bolts black those were gold but um, I also lowered the car I did the uh, I got the paragon wrenches and they and it literally dropped at three and a half three three, three quarters of an inch so it looks a lot better like you know when family and friends saw it um they said they couldn't tell a difference but i think you don't really tell a difference just by looking at it right away but if you see it driving down the road the first thing you think is man that does look low so it's a subtle drop but you can tell for sure once you start seeing it drive around or from a distance it just looks lower than normal so there you go. I dropped that three quarters of an inch. The Z51 package was cool. It was something I wanted big time. I know it only gave you five more horsepower, but it gave you a, a performance exhaust. It gave you these brakes, which which were my favorite. I love black, white, and red together. And it looks like just the accent is everywhere on this car. And the Maxon design kind of matched it. So anyways, steel stock wheels. I think these are the um, Trident wheels. I wasn't a fan of them at first, but they look good in black. So, um, but there you go. The front looks like it tucked a little bit better than the back. But other than that, man, this car is pretty sweet. Um, I, I wash it too much. I mean, I spray wax it probably every day. If I take it on a drive, the first thing I do when I get back is spray wax it. So, uh, make sure all the uh, bugs are off it first, and then I start spray waxing it. But if you have any have any questions, just hit me up. I'm not real good at replying, but uh, hopefully this makes you uh, makes your decision on what color you want a little bit easier. Hopefully this looks good on camera. It always looks good in person. So there you go.